climb in a tree, like you do. Uh, while I do this, uh, why don't we uh, talk about Shakespeare, specifically Macbeth. Hey guys, I figured since it was such a nice day, we should film outside, especially since it's a short scene that we're going to do and really how many ants can crawl up my pants in the space of this scene. We'll find out. I am going to take my glasses off though because if you didn't notice, they darken in the sun and you won't be able to see my beautiful eyes, which would be a crime, I know. We are going to be looking at Act 5, Scene 2, which has a lot of soldiers in it. It begins with drum and colors, which means the drum is playing and the colors or the banner of the army is being shown. And in come Mentieth, Caithness, Ag Angus, I can't. Agnes. I almost called him Agnes. I'd get killed for that in Scotland. Angus. Lennox and some soldiers. Mentieth. I'm never going to pronounce his name right. I'm sorry. Mentieth. I apologize. The English powers near, led by Malcolm, his uncle Seward, and the good Macduff. Revenges burn in them for their dear cause. Would to the bleeding and the grim alarm excite the mortified man. Angus. Near Burnham Wood shall we meet them. That way they are coming. Burnham Wood. You guys remember that? What that was from? Huh? Caithness. Who knows if Donald Bain be with his brother? Lennox. For certain, sir, he is not. I have a file of all the gentry. Here is Seaward's son and many unrough youths that even now protest their first of manhood. So... Malcolm is coming, but Donald Bain, the other prince, is not. Hmm. Mentieth, what does the tyrant? How's old Macbeth doing? Caithness, great Dunsinane he strongly fortifies. Some say he's mad. Others that lesser hate him do call it valiant fury. But for certain, he cannot buckle his distemperate cause within the belt of rule. So, Macbeth is madly fortifying... Dunsinane, which is a fort, fort castle on a hill. Dunsinane Hill. Mm -mm -mm. You remember. I remember you remember. But uh, some are saying that he's crazy. Others that don't hate him as much are saying that he's just angry. Angus. Now does he feel his secret murders sticking on his hands. How minutely revolts abrade his faith breach. Those he commands move only in command, nothing in love. Now he feels his title hang loose upon him like a giant's robe upon a dwarfish thief. So, Big Mac's in trouble. His people are only obeying him because he says so. They're not obeying him because they're loyal. He's really be not turning out to be a very good king. Probably because he's gone a little bit round the bend. Mentia. Who then shall blame his pestered senses to recoil and start, when all that is within him does condemn itself for being there? Mentieth maybe feels a little bit sorry for Macbeth. He's like, well then, kind of, who can blame the guy for being so messed up? I mean, he, he did a lot of bad things. Maybe he feels bad about it. Like, who could blame him? He's a little distracted after killing all of those people and children and servants and... Yeah. Caithness. Well, march we on to give obedience where it is truly owed. Meet we the medicine of the sickly wheel, and with him pour we our country's purge, each drop of us. So he's like saying that they're the medicine that's going to cure the country. They're going to force themselves down Scotland's throat until it gets all better again. Lennox, or so much as it needs, to do the sovereign flower and drown the weeds, make we our march towards Burnham. And they're off, headed for Burnham Wood, to try and save Scotland from evil, evil Macbeth. So there you have it. The scene was really sh kind of short, but um, we're going to be coming up soon on scenes that are really short, like oh, like half a page. And they're going to be jumping between Macbeth's army and, I guess, Macduff's army. Macduff's not, like, in charge of it, but I guess it's really his army. He's the recognizable figurehead guy. Um, and we'll probably be doing those, like, at least two at a time, maybe even three at a time. We'll see how long they are. But uh, we're coming on, coming up near the end. Ooh, we're almost through the play. Yay! Oh, this has been a PC Patient Zero production. Thanks for watching. One, two, ready, go. Living in a 
tree, yeah, that's where I'd like to be.